Here we are, the moment of truth, part four. We now have a node server running. It's a socket server. I have two clients going in two different browser windows, both connecting to the server. But if I move my mouse around here to draw, I don't see the result of that drawing in this one over here. So what I need to do now is add the last piece. As I move the mouse in a client, I need to send a message. Once I, and then in the server, I need to receive that message and send it out to everybody else. So let's see if we can make that happen. So the first step is let's add code in the client to send the message. So I'm going to go to Sublime here where I have all my different pieces. And this is my client code. I have a socket variable and I connect to the server. So what I want to do is, in, what I'm going to do is in, I'm, I'm going to write a function called mouse dragged. The mouse drag function, uh, you'll see, uh, is a function, the event function that's triggered whenever I drag the mouse. And so if I add that in and put the console, whoops, wrong console, put the console in and I hit refresh, you can see, oh, when I, whenever I drag the mouse, and uh, you can see that I'm printing out those mouse coordinates. So that's where I want to send. I just realized there's sort of a flaw in my program, which is that I also <laughs> want to draw in mouse dragged as well. So now, right, if I move the mouse, nothing happens. But if I drag, I move the mouse, and I see the coordinates spitting out in the console. So now what I want to do is I need to create a message that I'm going to send. And the way you create a message is two things. You need a name for the message, which is a string of text and you need the data for that message, which is just a JavaScript object. So the data for that message is, I'm going to say x is mouse x and y is mouse y. So this is the content of my message. I want to send the mouse x and mouse y value. And then I also need a name. So I think I say socket.init mouse dot data. And so I'll change this to saying sending So now in the code, you see this is really the sort of crucial part right here, which is that I, when I want to send a message, I create a JavaScript object with the data in it. I then say socket.emit. I name the message. The name is important because it's a, you're just making a protocol. Like what if you have a whole lot of different messages and you do different things based on what the name of the message is? That's a way to, uh, in this case, I don't really have to worry about that, but that's kind of important. Um, and then I attach the data to it. So now I've sent the message. Now let's first even just run run the sketch to make sure uh, there aren't any weird errors. You know, sending, you can see that it's sending that stuff. It seems to be working, I don't get any errors. And the server, I don't see anything happening in the server because I haven't written the code to receive the message. So now I need to go to the server to write that code. Server code right here, this is the function where that is triggered when there's a new socket connection. So what if this particular socket connection sends a message, right? Not just any message. I want, what if a message comes from this particular client? So I should be able to say socket.onMouse, you know, mouse message. I don't know if that's right. Let me look at my cheat sheet over here. Ah, look, that's right. <laughs> so what I, what I'm saying is if this, if there is a message called mouse, uh, trigger this function. So I'm going to write that function now. And I'm just going to say console.log data. So this is now, I have a server. The server is waiting for connections. When there's a new connection, I say there's a new connection. When there's a message, it logs that particular message. So let's take a look at this working now. So one thing I need to do is I need to restart the server. You know, incidentally, there's a way using a tool called NodeMon, which maybe I should show you at some point, to auto restart a server every time you, you change code. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I can hit Control-C and start it again. So I'm running the server. Everything is connect, reconnected automatically. But I'm going to refresh anyway. And you can see it's sending, sending, sending. And look at this, receiving. Come on, you can do it. Let me move this over here. I'm going to move the mouse around here. You can see, look, I'm sending and I'm receiving. Boy, this is getting good. I'm sending and I'm receiving. I'm sending and I'm receiving. But 
I am not sending again to receive over here, right? The message went from here and then it went to here. Now I need it to go here. And incidentally, if a message from here goes to there, I need it to go to there. Let's see, is that happening? Move this back over here. Right? It's happening here. It's happening here. You can't see it, but it is. So the messages are coming <laughs> into the server, but they're not going back out. So what do I need to do to have them go back out? So I'm going to go to my code, and I don't have this memorized so well, so I'm going to go to my, the example I made earlier, and I'm going to grab this bit of code. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I'm in the wrong place a million times over, and I'm going to add this back in. Right? I could have remembered that. So what do I want to do? When a message comes in, when a mouse message comes in, I want to call the broadcast.emit function to send a message back out. What do I want to send back out? That exact same message, and what do I want to call it? Mouse. So you can see that there's a lot of possibilities here. A message that comes in could be parsed, altered, changed, renamed, sent back out, but I'm not doing that. In this sort of simple example, I'm just taking the literal message in, the name and the data, and I'm sending the exact same back out, name and the data. Now, incidentally, we have this question here. I'm going to go back to all this. Let's say the message comes from this client into the server. Do I want that message then to go back out to, whoa, oh, back, back out to both of them? Or do I want, so message comes in, goes back out to both of them. Or do I want message to come in and only go to this one? Or if there was another one, to go to the other two. In this case, I don't want the message to come back to myself, but in other cases you might. But I want to show you, and I'm going to keep this in the code, example that I upload, that there is, this is another way of writing this code. I'm going to put it right here. If I were to say instead, reference the global, the more, not the specific socket to emit to everyone else, but this io.sockets, which kind of refers to everything, it will also include the client that sent the message. So I'm going to leave that in there as a sort of separate side possibility. But really, we're kind of golden here. We've got messages coming in and the message going back out. But the message does not get received by the client. So I've got to also go back to the client now, and I've got to add something that handles the message coming in. Socket.on mouse, and I'm going to say new drawing. So now, if this particular socket receives a message called new drawing, what should it do? Well, uh, it should draw, and I'm just going to grab exactly this same code. It should draw something, but at data.x, data.y, and let's make it a different color just so we can see it's different. So this is now saying, in addition, this particular sketch should set up an event handler for when a message comes in. Right? It's kind of confusing. The same sketch is both has functions for sending out and receiving because it's not like there's two different sketches running. There's two different instances of the same sketch. So if this one sends, this one receives, but they both have, but if this one sends, this one receives, they both have the sending and receiving code in them. Now I might have missed something. I'm going to feel ambitious though and just run it because I don't have this stuff memorized. So these, uh, oops, let's go to the browser here. I'm going to refresh and refresh and see, oh no, I didn't miss anything. So you can see it works. Beautiful, oh, that's so nice. So you, you know, there's so much possibilities here. And you know, incidentally, we are being really, uh, there is absolutely no reason why I shouldn't add a third one just to demonstrate what's really going on here. So now if I hit refresh here, right, you can see, and let me, let me refresh all of these. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna draw a heart because I love you all for watching this video. Two hearts for the two people left who are still watching this video. And then I'm gonna fill in the heart here because that will make it pink on the other two. Look at this. This is way too much fun. I'm gonna mess around with this later after I turn this video off. But you can see the idea here is we have all the pieces. We have a node. You can now remember, we have a node server that's hosting a P5 sketch. Node server is running express and opening socket connections. Whenever a client 
runs, it connects via a socket to the server. If it sends messages to the server, the server receives that message and sends it back out to all the other clients, not including the original one. Let me show you again where all the pieces of that, the code are. So here, uh, this is, uh, let me look at the directory of files, right? This is everything you need. The server.js has the code for running the server and receiving socket messages and sending them back out to the clients. Inside public is my p5.js sketch. In sketch.js, I have the client code, which sends messages to the server and then also receives messages from the server. So if I go to that server, we can see all I'm doing is I have new connection, um, I have a, a function that handles new connections and a function that receives messages and sends them back out immediately. And if I go to the client, I have, uh, a, I have a variable that connects to the server. Uh, it handles new messages and also has a function when the mouse is dragged for sending messages. So sending, receiving, sending, receiving, server, client, node, express, socket, p5.js. All of those things make this particular example. I will have all of the code on GitHub. I hope that you make something with this. Do something different. Uh, I'm sure I missed some stuff, so leave things in the comments. I will add some addendum videos to pick up items I missed or maybe how to deploy this somewhere or other kinds of messages that you could send. Um, and let me know uh, and have a good day with your sockets and hearts and things like that.